Hey y'all, I'm going to make some, uh, sub sandwiches in biscuits. And y'all, I don't have the bigger biscuits. I only have the small frozen biscuits. This is better with like the big Pillsbury or the Grands, the big ones. And you just peel like a couple of the top layers off, make your hole, uh, put your ingredients in your hole, then you bake them. You bake them in the oven. But uh, you can do this with, uh, I'm just gonna beat my egg up while we're talking. This is one of my fresh hen eggs. Just gonna beat that up real good. Uh, you can do this with uh, chicken nuggets, uh, with uh, scrambled hamburger meat, or uh, plain meatballs. I'm doing this with uh, my vegan meatballs. They're heating in my air fryer. But this is our marinara sauce that, uh, or this says spaghetti sauce, uh, that comes from the food bank. So this is gonna be a very cheap, uh, frugal snack for me. I'm adding black pepper because this doesn't have, it tastes good, but it doesn't have as much spices as I would like. So this is uh, onion powder. This is about four tablespoons that I have taken out of this can. Y'all can see it's almost full because I'm just gonna do four biscuits because it's only myself. Now, if you're doing a family, for a family, uh, you know, you wanna do a whole bunch of them or, you know, like a whole can. What's in a can, like 10 biscuits or something? I don't know y'all, cause I never buy them. I see them in the store. This is Italian blend. And y'all, if y'all watched my cooking videos before, y'all know that um, when I make my spaghetti sauce from this canned stuff I get at the pantry, I season it up like this also. So there's all of our spices. I just like for it to have more flavor. That makes sense to y'all? Those of you that like to cook will understand that. Y'all know we like to season things up. Okay, let's see if our meatball, I believe they're done. And y'all, unfortunately, you're supposed to put a whole meatball in each sandwich. You slice them. Oh, that's hot. Slice your meatballs. You can make them from scratch. You can buy them already pre-made in the store. These are my vegan meatballs. Um, I've opened my biscuits up. We're gonna spread our marinara sauce, our spaghetti sauce, or whatever y'all use. And you can add any extras that y'all might think uh, that y'all might think will taste good. That's up to the individual. This is a half a meatball because that's all that's going to fit on these biscuits. If you buy the larger biscuits, two slices will fit. Okay, this is Italian blend cheese <clears throat> you can use just mozzarella or provolone or whatever taste you like my oven is preheating to 375 because that's what these biscuits are supposed to be cooked at y'all these are great for the kids when the kids are home on the weekend and they have friends over, if you have a package of the pre-made meatballs or you make them yourself and freeze them, then, uh-oh, uh we got a low battery notification. Maybe we can get this done before it, before it dies on us. 
I'm gonna stretch my dough out there a little bit for to cover that a little bit more. Cause like I said, we're supposed to be using the larger biscuits and it does, it is probably gonna turn out a lot prettier with the larger biscuits, but I did thaw these a little bit where I could, uh, and these are also, see, not the flaky. These are like the home style. And the other ones, you get the flaky ones, and then you can lift the layers up, which makes a lot prettier. And y'all, I don't know where my little brush is because I never use it. And of course, I need it for this, so. Usually this is what I do over a dessert, is just spoon it over it anyway. But this is our egg wash. And y'all, this is gonna make the top of this biscuit so beautiful and brown and crunchy. I, I guess I need to scramble the rest of this egg so I won't waste it. I don't wanna waste this egg. Okay, we're gonna put this in our 375 oven for 18 to 25 minutes and I'll be back when they're done and we'll give it a taste test and I'll show you what the inside looks like. Okay guys, 20 minutes later and our sub sandwiches or sub biscuits is out of the oven and y'all they are popping hot popping hot. All that cheese melted. There's your meatball. Ooh, I wish I could smell my house because it's smelling really good. I want to pick one of those up and cut it in two. Uh, let me see if I can get one up. It's really hot. I don't know if I can hold them at this point, but I wanted to cut one in two and show y'all what it looks like inside. But y'all, if y'all have kids or grandkids, these make super quick within 30 minutes you can have a quick lunch or a snack for after school for your kiddos you can even let them make them and put the ingredients they want inside that would be something fun for them to do some kids like to do that okay i did have to let them cool because the cheese i put uh olive oil spray on my on my foil and uh, you may have one of those no stick liners which would be great I don't have one of those anymore I used to but uh, it, it peels right off I'm gonna show you what the bottom looks like it's coated with cheese the cheese melted out and there's a lot of cheese around the edge and uh, it just peels right off so I'm gonna cut this in two, show you what the inside looks like. Y'all, it smells great. Okay, we got it cut in two. And that's what the inside looks like. Y'all, great appetizers. Great, these would be great for a family breakfast on Sunday uh, with sausage balls. <coughs> instead of meatballs you can do this with chicken strips the extra marinara sauce spaghetti sauce that I had left actually I'm gonna warm it up and uh, dip this in the sauce and eat it and uh, I didn't get it out and warm it right now because I didn't even think about it I was just trying to get these videos done y'all I've got so much going on <laughs> I'm just trying to get the video done but uh, warm your, warm your uh, spaghetti sauce and uh, see that one's coming up. But uh, the cheese is stuck, but once you get the cheese, I can't do it with one hand, it takes both hands, but that one peeled right off. Y'all can see what the bottom looks like, it peeled right up. But, uh, I'm not going to take a bite because it's still really hot, but uh, it's just a different way to make a meatball sandwich uh, in a biscuit. Like I said, these are Kroger brand frozen, like homemade buttermilk biscuits. The flaky biscuits 
open up a lot easier for a filling. So, uh, y'all be blessed. Know you're loved. Make you some meatball sandwiches.